Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to fix uh, this error actually and the error is first of all stop this application and you can see that error is HTTP context does not contain a definition for current and no accessible extension method current dot accepting a first argument of type HTTP context could be found or you are missing. So just uh, you can use control dot and there is a no uh, namespace related uh, error. So how to fix that type of error? Actually you want to, uh, actually you can say uh, as a general rule converting a web forms or MVC application to ASP.NET Core will require a significant amount of refactoring. HTTP context dot current that is there was removed in ASP.NET Core accessing the current HTTP context from a separate class library in the type of Massey architecture that ASP.NET Core tries to avoid. So uh, you can use this way to, uh, to solve this types of uh, error. So you can use this error. If you want to get uh, the current uh, URL related to your uh, actually current uh, and the HTTP context related to the current request. So you can use directly you can say HTTP context dot request dot scheme and HTTP context dot request dot host if you want to get the host name as well as the port number. So you just you can use HTTP context directly with the uh, with their properties and you can resolve your problem. So instead of current object you can directly use the properties okay and you can say that your problem will be resolved easily. So here we have outputs and HTTP context dot request dot scheme okay so you can access the current HTTP context via the HTTP context property or on any controller okay uh, the closest thing on your original code sample would be the pass HTTP context into the method you are calling and uh, here you can just go out in the host there is like that HTTP has local host 71555 is the port number so easily you can remove that problem because uh, Microsoft remove the current uh, property from the in ASP.NET Core and uh, you can directly access that property by using HTTP context. Thank you very much for watching this video.